Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square, coming at you with another CSS tutorial today. This one is uh, one of my most requested CSS customizations, and it's all about how to add your own font to your Squarespace website. Rather than uploading an image that has cool text on it, you can actually replace the different types of headings or even your normal text with your own font file. So let's get right into it. Starting from your homepage menu, click into design, and then down to custom CSS. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that you need to have your font file ready. There are a lot of websites out there where you can download free web safe fonts to use. The font I'll be using for today, this font is called Lemon Tuesday, and it's one of my favorites. It's a fun handwriting font, and I think it'll really illustrate this effect pretty well. So anyway, on to the tutorial. I'm going to grab the code that's beneath this video and paste it right here. Just to break it down for you, this font is basically saying, uh, this code right here is basically saying we're going to use a special font for your H1 font type here. So right now it just says heading one and uh, open sans is what I've typed in here for the replacement font. If Squarespace can't find the file or the browser can't load the font file that is going to display here, it's just going to grab this as a backup. Okay, so this is your backup. If nothing is actually listed here, as you can see, this is kind of broken right now. It's just going to display this font instead. So let's get my own custom font in there, shall we? Right here is where we're going to replace this uh, text with the unique URL for our font file. We have to upload that file to Squarespace. So I've copied and pasted in here. I'm going to select Manage Custom Files, and then I'm going to drag and drop my font file right there. If I click on it, Squarespace is going to put the URL right there in my code. Let's remove this extra text that was just a placeholder. And then we'll go ahead and name it. Call this font Lemon. And I'll place that name down here as well. And then we'll select Save. And you can see even before we hit Save, check it out. My heading is updated to that font. All right, I'm going to do this whole thing again, just so you guys can follow with me. I'm going to copy and paste the code that's beneath this video and place it right here in my custom CSS. What I'm going to do is replace this with my custom file. I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to name it as well by replacing font name with whatever I'd like to call my font. There we go. As you can see, what I've done is tell Squarespace, hey, this is a font face I'm installing. This is what I'm going to call it. And this is where it is. And then in this section of code, I've said, hey, anytime you see this type of text, a header, a heading one or an H1 text, I want you to use this font that I just named up here. If you don't have that font, then put this one there instead. Okay. Now here's one of the coolest parts too. You can do this for all of the other types of text. Let's say you want your H1 to be the same, but the third heading, this one down here, that's the one you want is Lemon Tuesday. I'm going to type three in there and now you'll see that's changed. Let's say all the normal text is what needs to be updated. Change that letter to a P. And now all the normal text, both this title up here and down here, those are now displaying what I've labeled as lemon in Squarespace. Okay. So again, the code is beneath this video. You're going to do this in the custom CSS section of your website. Oh, and the most important part, my friends, select save. So how we get to this menu, I'll do that one more time. You'll start from your main menu, select design, and then custom CSS. This is where you're going to paste that code. And uh, yeah, all of this stuff is beneath the video. It should be pretty straightforward. But if you have any questions, let me know. And I'd love to help you have fun customizing your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. Copy and paste your way to a cooler website. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.